Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here again with you from HolsingersFlyShop.com. This time we're tying another competition style fly. Um, <clears throat> this one is Kevin Compton's fly. Uh, if you're from around my area, a lot of you guys know Kevin Compton. He has performance flies in the Spruce Creek area, down by the Little J. And this is one of his great patterns. He uses it for the blue winged olives and a lot of different things down there on the Little J. It's a killer pattern. I use it on... Um, some of my tiny wild brown trout streams and it does real well. Um, <clears throat> Dad was just out with it yesterday. Water was up a little bit and was even catching it then with the high water. So what we're going to start out with is Hannah Cook's competition hook. The Stillwater Wet H260BL in a size 16. Now we're going to take and we're going to make a couple variations on Kevin's pattern. And we're going to start out with uh, reason being some of the material is a little tough to find so we're gonna use some more readily available material and make it a little bit easier to find the stuff to tie so starting out with that hook and then the bead I'm using is a 332nd um, gold bead you can use tungsten or cyclops bead <clears throat> Um, right now at the shop here, or here at the house at the, my fly bench, I had just have a Cyclops bead, so we're just going to tie it with the Cyclops this time. But f feel free to tie it with the tungsten, get her down faster, competition nymphs, that's what you're after. You know, get her down to the bottom real quick. For tail, we're going to use some medium pardo cocktail on, and just going to take about, this is like a mayfly imitation, so you don't need a lot of, fi a lot of fibers here like six or so is plenty you don't want a real big thick tail plus also with the thick tail you're going to get a thick body so you don't want to add too much body to this like I said it's a size 16 so you want it pretty small um, tail about the length of the of the finished fly and just gonna wrap that on there get it where we like keeping the fibers on the top and then tightening it down as we go back and we're going to go right back to the bend of the hook. And once I get back to the bend of the hook, I'm going to make a wrap under the fibers and pull it up. Pull, the, pull that up just to hold it up into place so it doesn't tend to roll down over the, over the bend of the hook there. Now, next thing I'm going to put on is some gold wire. And I am using this one. Small gold wire. Ultra wire. And you want small... You can put brassy on, it would be okay if you only have brassy. But um, this is a smaller fly, so I'm going with a small size. And we're just going to wrap that back right to where we ended our wraps in front of the tail. And put our thread down. Now the next thing is what we're going to do some substituting on. In Kevin's pattern, he uses a um, condor substitute in brown olive. Condor substitute is hard to come by. Turkey bayet quills in brown olive is very, very close. I mean, it's almost, it gives you the same exact results. If you've seen the finished fly, you wouldn't know the difference. It's just a different feather. That's all it is. Um, these feathers you can see on the bottom side is bayets. You actually get two for one here. You get big, long bayets on the one side. Okay, and then you get the fiber that we're going to, the quill body that we're going to use to tie on the other side. So we're just going to take one of those fibers on the top, the big long ones on the top side of the feather, and we're going to cut it off. Like I said, it's olive brown, or sorry, brown olive, I should say. Now, you can't see this very well. You can kind of there. It's a little bit blurry. Um, there's a U shape. When I put this on the hook, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this up against the hook, and I'm going to turn the U-shape towards me when I tie this on. I usually like to cut, like, I don't know, a half inch or an inch, just the end of the tip off, because it's, it's real fine and really hard to wrap, and it just saves you hassle if you do that. So, that U-shape, I want the U-part facing me so I can see into the U not uh, not around the U but into the U okay then I'm gonna take my hackle pliers and put them on here and when the, when I wrap this 
putting it on that way should put the fiber the way I want it <clears throat> where when you wrap it there's a band that will stick up and you can barely see it here <clears throat> because the fly is so small but the band is toward the back side of the hook and as you wrap it it'll stay there if you do it wrong you're gonna have a big gap in between the bands you see how I have a nice tight wrap here going that's because I got it wrapped on the right way now I'm just gonna wrap that right up to the bead and then tie it off okay then that pulls right off you see how easy that pulled off there it's a it's a very soft material so we're gonna come in and rib it then and then <clears throat> I like to put a wrap in between each one of those bands so there's going to be a good many wraps up on this thing if you miss one or something no biggie just try to make it nice and even make it look good and this is also going to protect <clears throat> you know the, the t teeth of the fish so wrap it up there get three or four good wraps behind that lead <clears throat> and then we'll just helicopter the lead off now the last thing on this fly, Kevin uses a peacock, peacock bronze is what this pattern actually calls for. Um, <clears throat> there again I looked and to substitute, peacock ice dubbing is the exact same thing. There's actually I believe peacock ice dubbing in the peacock bronze dubbing that he uses from a different company. And I'm going to wax my thread a little bit. <clears throat> but uh like I said, there's actually peacock dubbing, ice dubbing in the peacock bronze. There's just a little bit of um, brown hair hairline dubbing mixed in with it, it looks like. So if you really want to get technical and you want to mix your own, if you can't find the original, what it calls for. But peacock ice dubbing works just fine. That's what I substitute with it, and it catches fish. So don't worry about having, like I say all the time, you want to get something close to the pattern. Now, I want to put about three or four wraps on here. You see I'm starting to build it. I want it just slightly bigger than the size of the bead. I don't want to, you know, I don't want a big, huge ball on there. I want it just slightly bigger than the size of the bead. And I want it a little bit buggy there. You can see the fiber standing up. And then we're just going to whip finish it off right behind the bead. So just make about four or five wraps there <clears throat> do another quick little one and that is all that's to the cinnamon toast like I said great fish catching fly invented by Kevin Compton from Spruce Creek and a great fly to fish in our area great fly in any area it's um, small it's that competition style uh, you know fly that everybody's after right now and this is a great little mayfly imitation give it a try like I said don't always have to have exactly what the pattern calls for in this one you find whatever's close that condor substitute or yeah condor substitute is extremely hard to find it comes from overseas so like I said we did some search and we found out from our suppliers that a turkey by it quill has the same exact effect and you get the same exact effect out of it so give the turkey by it quills a try and brown olive we actually carry a selection of different colors if you want to try this out in different colors to match different mayflies that would be a great idea and um, like I said give it a try what's it gonna hurt you it's a great pattern and all the materials that I showed in my video here you can find at the shop the cockdaleon tailing fibers small brassy wire Turkey bite, quills and brown olive, and peacock ice stubbing and the beads and the hook. All of them you can find at wholesingersflyshop.com. Thanks again for watching everybody. As always, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel um, so you're constantly updated with videos. We're all the time bringing fresh new videos out for you. And I want to make sure you get to see them all. And also, uh, like us on Facebook and Instagram if you're into that social media stuff. Thanks for watching everybody. Please come back for our next one. I'm Sean Holsinger. Thank mm -hmm. you.